So I'm going to go through the joy of setting up this VGC VR and 7500 headless radio made in China, imported from China with Chinese directions. So it's fantastic. And I'm being facetious. First thing you need to do is get the software. Uh, do this on a tablet or a phone. I'm doing it on a tablet. I've done it on both. Key things you have to remember, you have to allow for basically unauthorized third-party apps to be installed because this is not in any of the store stuff. It's not in Google Play or the Amazon thing, so you need to do that. You should also have a file manager installed if you don't have that already. And you should have Bluetooth and location slash GPS enabled. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, now you gotta get the software in this convoluted manner. Do a Google search on your tablet for VR dash, wherever the heck the dash is, <clears throat> N7500. First couple hits are YouTube, skip all that. Go down to the MVero Telecom site I, I'm they say this is also on a piece of paper that they give you but I did not have that piece of paper I scrolled through here and I said oh look there's a download link for the Android app click on that click on the Chinese button do you want to download download off it'll go so it will download as it's doing right now do, 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 do. Okay, it's open. Don't open it because that doesn't work. I already figured that out. Um, I opened up my file manager and I'm using ES file manager. And scroll through my gazillion downloads. And I find the APK and I click on it. And then I do install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. So go ahead and install it. That will give you, if all goes well, a lovely green circular icon that has HT next to it. Hooray. Well, the first thing you need to do is to pair the device with Bluetooth because the tablet is the front end. There is no front end on the radio. Um, since I didn't have any instructions I had to hunt around a little bit in order to enable pairing on the radio you have to press turn on the radio on first and then press the power button twice and the TX and RX will start flashing which means you're in pairing mode so very important step not to forget I have printed out a label and taped it to the radio and a big label on the bottom of the radio so I won't forget. If it's in pairing mode it'll go through some magic and say hey pairing. Now the first time I turned on this radio it also said hey you need to do a firmware upgrade. So I said sure do a firmware upgrade. It took about 10 minutes to do the firmware upgrade then it said hey do you want to reboot? And I said sure and I let it reboot and I didn't touch anything. I just let the machine, it looked like it was off. Just let it sit there until it came back on saying, Channel 1! Um, so that was great. The pairing part of it also, the first time you pair, you may, depending on your OS, and I'm using the Fire OS here because i got an Amazon tablet, it may show up in the little status bar here in the Bluetooth, and it says, hey, do you want to do this? you're gonna to have to hit yes All right. it's not a straightforward process regardless of what the other videos show it is um, less than user-friendly anyhow if all goes well and amazingly well you'll see this screen and I set up a test frequency and it's convoluted as you might imagine hit the little gear then go to channel region 
Then click region one, which is their default. These are the first set of frequencies that they include. It's the 430 band. Now I use a quasi designated frequency for our tests. So I went to channel one and I renamed it to Mechatex and I changed the RX frequency to 432650. Oh, and I have to do the I have to do this because by default it's thinking it's a repeater and I'm going to do simplex so 432 650 codes off TX is off power is low because I'm testing bandwidth I changed it to 12.5 because I don't want to swamp things disable TX is off by default it's on so it won't transmit if it doesn't transmit it's because this little thing isn't set off talk around I have no idea what that is scan and parenthesis no idea leave them alone so I created Mechatex 432650 which happens to be a frequency that I happen to choose for my testing it's off the normal bands it's it's the in the experimental area so it's good for me to test I don't annoy too many people don't do a repeater don't do calling stuff not for testing please hit save it allegedly saved sync to device yes so now it's told the device to do its thing hit the back arrow a couple times now it's got this grid of 16 channels but you're very very small so i hope your eyesight is good and i'm i press on the mecha text and that means I'm on it, so I should, with my handy dandy push to talk thing here. Oh, look, the transmit light goes on. That's that's a good sign. And an even better sign is my radio here, which is six inches away. Bad idea, but here it's testing. It's receiving. One two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. There we go. That's the basics of it. Uh, installing the software and getting it synced is the biggest pain. You'll hopefully only have to upgrade the firmware once or every once in a while. All the frequency setup is going to be through the app. Use low power to start with. Uh, let me see what else you make sure your Bluetooth is on make sure that your location is on you're gonna have to manually install the APK make sure to double click the power button to get it to Bluetooth sync mode and I think that's about it oh one other thing I found was that uh, since I was testing I also had my phone and was installing this software on my phone. So my phone and my tablet were suddenly battling over who should control the radio. So I have no idea what it's gonna do when you have more than one radio. It um, may not work. I had to turn off Bluetooth on my phone and I uninstalled the software just so that they wouldn't battle it out for global domination. So there you have your headless radio. Uh, I think it's a neat concept and you could do everything through the phone. I'm not a big proponent of doing everything through the phone, but that's just me. Uh, my radios have dials and they still work after 20 years. I don't know if this tablet is going to survive 20 years. In fact, it absolutely will not. So I'm a little negative towards that thing, but that's just me. So if you want a headless Bluetooth thing that requires an application that you have to learn Chinese for, it does have 50 watts, which is great. I don't know how clean those 50 watts are. I'll have to test that. Uh, and more to come. So uh, at this point, I give it a mediocre, but I'm grumpy. So there you go.